This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool looking infographic animation inside of After Effects. Now, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I post motion graphic tutorials every single week. And in case if you're not interested in infographic, you are more of a logo animation and motion graphics guy, then I have a complete playlist that you can check it out. I have mentioned the link in the description below. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'm going to call this render. Let's hit OK. And for the animation, I will be using a simple image of a torus. You can create this torus in Cinema 4D or 3ds Max, whichever 3D software that you use. Or you can download the free project file from the link in the description, which contains all the assets and the complete project file of this tutorial. So let's drag in this circle into our main render comp. Also hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Hit OK. Drag that below the circle. Go into Fix and Preset and search for a ramp. I will be using a gradient ramp for our background. You are free to use whichever color that you like. I'm going to swap this up. Let's go with a nice uh, darker blue. And for this one, I will keep it a bit of a lighter shade. Now, obviously, when using gradient, you are going to get this kind of color bending. So to fix this, let's increase the RAM scatter all the way up to 100. And also, I'm going to add some noise on this. So let's go into fix and preset and search for noise and uh, double click to apply that uncheck the use color noise and clip result values and set the noise amount to one and then hold alt and click on the small button so it's going to switch from 8 bpc to 16 bpc this is going to help us to get rid of any kind of color bendings now you may see a little bit bendings but that is because of the youtube compression and for the colors i think i'm going to increase just the saturation a bit and for this one, I'm going to make this a little bit just like so. So it's looking good. And now let's select the circle PNG that we have. Go into effects and preset again and type in Triton. This is going to help us to color the complete torus. So first of all, let's set this to something like a gray color and bring down the opacity. So hit T and bring that down to 25% should be fine. Or maybe I can make this a bit more like so then hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit t and bring up the opacity to 100 and then you can apply whichever color that you want so i will be using or going with a nice blue color like so and for the highlights i will add a blue as well just a little bit all right so that is looking pretty good now Let's select the Eclipse tool and make sure you're working in the shape layer. Go into fill and set this to none. We only need the stroke. So let's keep it at around somewhere around 200 or something. Let's start with 150 and from the center. So make sure to turn on title action safe. And from the center, I'm going to hold control and shift at the same time and create a circle. So it covers up the complete torus like that. And you can obviously align this into the center using the align tab you can find these tabs under windows align and for moving the anchor point i'm using a simple free script you can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool that should fix the anchor point in the center let's call this mask and select the circle and go into track mat option set this to alpha mat now if you don't see this track mat make sure you hit f4 on the keyboard that should make it visible and now I'm going to go into the ellipse, go right here and click on the small button that you see. So go right here and let's add a trim path. And now if I animate the trim path, you can see we get this really cool look. 
looks pretty nice let's also increase the uh, shape size a bit of the path so somewhere around 200 should be fine and that is looking pretty good now let's go ahead and um, add our text so i'm gonna select the text tool and type in zero to get started and let's increase the size you can use any font that you want i will be using a babes pro bold that looks pretty good and i'm gonna make sure it's in the center actually i'm going to type in a higher number so let's type in 10 dual digits fix the kerning to zero align this into the center properly all right that is looking good and on this text layer i will be using a slider control so go into effects and preset search for slider control double click to add that on the text then go into the text source text hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then parent this or link this to this slider control so now we can animate the numbers using this so let's set it to zero at the very start create a keyframe go to three seconds and set this to somewhere around maybe 70. so boom there we have it but there is something wrong we don't need all these decibels so to fix this i'm going to go into the expression and just simply type in period value period i want the value to be fixed so type in two fixed make sure the f is capital open and close parentheses and now the values are going to be a solid number and that is what i want now i want to add a simple percentage sign at the end of this text so to do that i'm going to go here and add plus and type in sorry plus and type in the percentage sign and boom there we go there we have it and here we have our animation ready to roll now you can anytime change this so all you have to do is jump to three seconds that is where our keyframe is and you can change this to any value that you want so i'm going to leave it at 70 percent and then go into mask go into the trim part let's also lock the effect and control of the text layer Hold Alt and click on the end stopwatch and link this to the slider control. And now, boom, there we have it. So I can set this to any number. So let's set this to 75. And now we have a really cool animation. So the base of our animation is ready. Now we can make it look even more better. So let's select everything basically these three layers hit ctrl shift c to precompose them i can call this animation and then go into effects and preset and let's add some glows on this all right let's increase the glow radius to 200 or something that looks good and let's bring down the glow intensity to 0.5 and we get a very very nice look now you can even make it look more cooler by jumping into the animation com select the mask layer Go into effects and preset and search for radial blur cc radial blur add that and now if i increase this we get something like this and now if i go back we get this really really cool look which i personally love it so you can leave it at that or you, if you want you can make it really intense but that won't make any sense so i, I like to keep it around somewhere around there around 25 should be fine so i personally like this look a lot and there we have a really cool looking infographic finally i'm going to add some text so let's type in sales so it's going to be the percentage of our sales growth make this smaller i'll place it right here and there we have this really nice infographic animation inside of after effects using this very simple techniques now obviously you can create a number of different shapes you can use icons 3d icons and stuff like that and use this very simple but a very creative technique for creating some very cool looking infographic you can jump into the circle and change this to a different color so if i want i can maybe make this pink and um you know get a really cool look boom there we go now before i proceed further with this tutorial I just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor Envato Elements. 
Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready-to-use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. And in case if you don't have the time to create this infographic and want the complete template which includes more than 20 different animations then make sure to check out the first link in the description below so that is a wrap for today guys if you're watching my video for the very first time please do consider subscribing to the channel i post motion graphic tutorials every single week you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have all the links in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out